I'm just gonna get straight to the point. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to mix your vocals to get them sounding professional and radio friendly. I'll be breaking down everything from what microphones you should be using to mixing harmonies and to even different mixing styles for different genres. Also, if you don't have the ability to record vocals or you don't like singing, then I have good news for you. A lot of people would love to get their songs sounding professional but simply just don't have access to good vocals. It can take hours of searching the internet just for one acapella that fits the key of your song only to find out that the vocal isn't royalty free. That's exactly why I made my acapellas and vocal chops volume 2 sample pack. Link in the description. It's got almost 30 completely original royalty free acapella stems that collectively spans over 35 minutes long fitting almost any genre and key. And as a thank you to you guys, it's on sale for a limited time only if you use the code YouTube at checkout so you'll get 25% off. Don't wait, you're not going to want to miss out on this. I know you guys will love it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's talk about microphones. I'll try to keep this section short. To record high quality vocals, you're gonna need a high quality microphone, but that doesn't always mean expensive. There are plenty of high quality microphones that offer great results for a very low cost. For example, the Blue Ember by Blue, AT2020 by Audio-Technica, and the P120 by AKG are all great microphones that come in under $100. But it should be noted that there are definitely better options once you start moving up in price if you can afford to spend a little more. The Rode NT1A has a reputation for being an entry level microphone that gives you a clean sound right off the bat. It costs about $230, but it comes with a shock mount and a pop filter so that's a great plus. And finally, my favorite condenser microphone, the Bluebird by Blue. The Bluebird is easily one of the best condenser microphones I've ever heard in my life, and it sits right in the mix with little to no processing. It's about $300, but it's totally worth it if you can afford it. Now let's get into mixing. So now that you have the whole microphone situation sorted out, it's time to record some vocals. To do that, you'll have to write some melodies and some lyrics. I already covered that in another video though, so you should go check that out too. Then, once you have a set of recorded vocals and harmonies, it's time to start mixing them. When you record, you're going to want to do multiple different takes of each part and then splice, or pick and choose each part of every take you like best, and stitch them together. Once that's out of the way, it's time to autotune. There are many different autotune plugins like the stock new tone that comes with FL Studio. Just drag and drop the vocal into the plugin and manually pitch each note. There's also Pitcher, and one of my personal favorites, Waves Real Tune. Remember, everything's going to be specific to your own vocals, so make sure to keep that in mind. In today's video, I'll be using an acapella for my sample pack as well as a project I'm using for an upcoming five song EP, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. Voices in my head telling me to go to bed, no, I'm trapped inside. Then you'll want to bounce or export this vocal so it's easier to work on. Next, drag the vocal and make sure it's aligned with the song perfectly. Sometimes, when exporting, a little bit of silence is added to the beginning of the wave. Let's make sure everything exported correctly. Voices in my head telling me to go to Next up is EQing. Depending on the way you sing and what microphone you're using, your EQing process should vary, so keep that in mind. I start off by adding a high pass filter right around the fundamental frequency and slowly rolling it off, as well as boosting a little bit of the highs that are lacking in my recording. You can hear the difference of where the curve is set pretty drastically. Voices in my head telling me to go to bed Now I'm trapped inside a cell Run around a carousel Next step is de-essing. If you have pretty harsh S and T sounds in your vocal, then you're gonna need to put on a de-esser. Maximus offers a built-in one with FL Studio, but I prefer using this free plugin called Spitfish. It's pretty simple, just keep adjusting the sensitivity until the harsh frequencies are more drowned out. Careful though, it's very easy to go overboard and you'll end up sounding like you have a lisp. Voices in my head telling me to go to bed. One other method of doing this is by manually going into your audio file and turning down every sibilance. Next up is compression. I personally like to use the Wave CLA 2A. I like waves a lot if you can't tell. Hashtag not sponsored. But another great plugin is Fruity Compressor. This is something that just takes time experimenting with, but the main principle is to slowly adjust the gain and peak reduction until you have a very evenly compressed sound. Remember, the goal of compression is to make a very even yet natural sounding vocal in terms of loudness. Louder parts should be turned down through this process and the quieter parts turned up. Just don't go over. Board. Voices in my head telling me to go to bed Now I'm trapped inside a cell Run around a carousel Next up, just for a little bit of texture You might find some success by adding an OTT And bringing down the dry wet amount a lot This is just for an extra little bit of sparkle to your vocal By using upwards downwards compression Voices in my head telling me to go to bed Now I'm trapped inside a cell When you do this though, make sure to remove any dead spaces in your audio As it may pick up any unwanted background noise The next steps will vary based off of what track you have But in this case, I'll be adding a very soft reverb with a high cut to it Voices in my head telling me to go to bed Now I'm trapped inside I'll also be adding some soft H delay from Waves as well Now let's hear how each step affected the vocal one by one Voices in my head telling me to Voices in my head telling me to Voices in Voices in my head telling me to Voices in my head Voices in my head telling me to go to bed now Voices in my head telling me to go to bed now I'm trapped inside a cell run. Oh yeah, this shouldn't be done to every vocal But since this track is a heavy rock influence I'm gonna be putting some soft-ish saturation on the vocal me to go to bed now I'm trapped inside a cell running around a carousel I told you sorry's not enough for all the things you did to me so now I think 
For this part, I recorded a couple ad libs in a different key while pitching up and format shifting up the vocal like crazy while using the monophonic algorithm. This will create a cool effect when coupled with distortion later. Next, add a harsh high cut ensuring that there's no extra low end in this harmony that may drown out the main vocal. Drench the sound and reverb to keep it in the background. Add a noise gate just for caution. And finally add some sweet, sweet distortion. This ends up shifting the vowels really nicely. But it also brings out some unwanted harsh frequencies, so make sure to turn them down in the EQ. Also, make sure to add a harsh de to the rest of your background vocals. It's okay to go a little bit too far on these because you don't want them interfering with the main vocal. Next up, something I like to do is record the main vocal melody twice and pan each of them slightly to the left and right to give the melody more oomph. Make sure to actually record it twice, don't just duplicate the vocals. First, take out all the low frequencies with a harsh high cut. Add some OTT with a relatively average depth amount for some quick compression. Do the same exact thing to the left pan. Together. Next up is a harmony line playing a lead note with some slight variation in melody on certain words to give emphasis on those words. You know the drill, harsh EQ. Some reverb. In my head. Quick compression. In my head. The next thing I like to do is pretty EDM specific, although you may have fun trying it in other genres. I don't see anybody else doing this, and it's something I came up with on accident a while back. First, start by simply talking your lyrics in a monotone voice into the microphone at the same tempo and speed as your other vocals. Then bring the vocals into new tone and pitch them to the same exact notes that your bass line plays in your song. You should end up with this cool gravelly electronic sound that harmonizes really well with your vocals. Voices in my head telling me to go to bed, now I'm trapped inside the cell. Run around a carousel. It can get pretty low and heavy, so I like to add a high pass as well as cutting a bit of the high end. Voices in my head telling me to go to bed. Now. Then I add some distortion to make the bass line sound really gritty. Voices in my head telling me to go to bed. Here's what all of the harmonies sound like together. Voices in my head telling me to go to bed. Now I'm trapped inside a cell. Run. And here's what they sound like mixed with the main vocal. Voices in my head telling me to go to bed Now I'm trapped inside a cell Run around a carousel Now let's hear this all finally mixed together with an instrumental Voices in my head telling me to go to bed Now I'm trapped inside a cell Run around a carousel I told you sorry not enough for all the things you did to me So now I think that it's high time that you just turn around and leave Slowly, don't Hey guys, if you made it this far into the video, then please consider subscribing. It's free and it really helps me out. And if you want royalty-free acapellas, I suggest checking out my pack in the description. You won't regret it. See you guys next time, and cheers.